Welcome in Libra. Welcome to Oshun's Tarot Garden. You're chilling with your big Oshun, the biggest of the biggest. And today we're going to see what Spirit has to say to you about your energy, okay? I did pick up some messages, um, more like a be still. I'm hearing be humble. Uh, I did feel like you guys could be feeling a little drained, a little lethargic. Could be because of the uh, moon we just had, the full moon in Sagittarius. I also feel like it could be drawn off of other people that are either thinking about you or people that you're investing too much time and energy into as well. All right. So we're going to see what these cards hold for my Libra, see what the message is. Spirit guides, I ask you to protect us and guide us through this message of Libra and their energy, what it is that they need to know, and help me deliver this message as clear as possible, okay? As clear as possible. You guys are really tired. <laughs> you guys are really, really tired, okay? Um, I feel like for a percentage of you guys, it's like you're trying so hard to stay positive. You're trying so hard to fight a negative mindset or being in a negative place at this time. I feel like you also feel bound to situations, to people who mean you no good, people who don't serve you of any good, okay? And I feel like you're having a hard time releasing them. Um, I'm looking at this hangman in reverse and I just see that being with these people mess up your stability wearing this red shirt, his green pants being ripped up, bare feet. It feels like your finances could become tied up, um, a hassle with the home. Maybe there's destruction involved as well. Maybe you guys fear cutting off these people who are just feeding off of you, just eating off of you here. It's like you're in a dead situation. If you look at it, it kind of looks like the headstone of, you know, a grave. And I just feel like you're just laying there and you've taken so much. You've given so much. You sacrificed so much. And you're even sacrificing yourself now trying to be there for other people. And I feel like you're suffocating. You're needing some time alone. You have this Ace of Cups, this Page of Cups, and the Six of Swords, which are all in reverse. And I have them in the upright position. And I just feel like you guys are holding on to some kind of relationship and you're not allowing yourself to move past it. This could be work environment. This could be friendships. This could be past lovers or current lovers that you're with that you know mean you no good. People who are just not for you. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius here or a Gemini. I don't know why Gemini came to mind, but Gemini as well. Okay. Um, I do feel like you guys are overcomplicating situations. Okay. You keep putting yourself in these areas that you keep asking to be removed from because you find yourself traveling back in time. And I say traveling back in time because you find yourself going back to these, trying to be super save a hoe, trying to you know, be cordial, trying to manipulate your own self into believing, you know, like giving people the benefit of the doubt that they can change, they can be better. And I feel like you're draining yourself and you are lessening those boundaries that you had set for yourself prior because it feels uncomfortable. You guys don't like to be seen as the bad guy, okay? You, you don't like breaking things off. You don't like ending things and you find yourself kind of just going with the flow of situations because 
You don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. You don't want to upset them. You don't want confrontation. You don't want your name to have a bitter taste in somebody else's mouth. And it leads you to being where you leave a bad taste in your own mouth because you're unhappy, you're unsatisfied, but you smile and you wave and you tend to, to shape up to what these people need. You're in relationships you don't want to be in. You're over giving to friendships that you, you just feel like is too much. Maybe somebody's too needy. Somebody is too codependent. And you know, you're in relationships where you have to not be yourself you know what i'm saying you're you're at workplaces where you feel like this is just you're just here for a paycheck but this isn't something that you love this isn't you chasing your dreams and we all know as air signs we love the freedom of flowing to do things that we enjoy and we love things that allow us to be creative and expressive and you could be holding yourself back from that and i just feel that it's time for you to move forward even if it means leaving those people behind a lot of you guys are going to need to go into isolation hermit mode whatever you want to call it if it's not for a significant amount of time at least incorporating that time of boundary of turning your phone off and turning off electronics and just being with yourself being in solitude for at least two hours a day to really connect with yourself to really understand yourself and to show yourself love and and peace and care and you know get that full understanding of what yourself is needing connecting with your higher self you're taking on too many of other people's demons i do feel like there's a horrible energy transfer that is coming in for you guys i'm looking at this mm. I feel like you guys are feeling stuck. Stuck in a rut is what came to my mind. You guys are feeling drained, you're feeling stuck. And I feel like there's something that's coming in for you guys. Some kind of new excitement, new offering. This could be love. This could just be, you know, with self, okay? Uh, spending that time with yourself, new friendships, new... I feel like it's new insight that's making its way to you. There's some kind of significant change that is about to come into your life unexpectedly, Libra. Something that you didn't expect to see. Something that you didn't expect to happen. There's going to be a swift change that's coming in for you. This could be for career-wise, your job. There could be an ending to a relationship that's kind of eye-opening all right so i don't know if it's just me libras because you know i'm a libra as well but i haven't seen many fives and many twos so five 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 could be a number that you're seeing as well as two 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 during this time if you've been seeing this please let me know we do have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck again and I feel like there's a lot of things on your mind that you're not expressing. There's a lot of things that could be eating you up as well. Um, I feel like a slight discouragement for a small percentage of you guys. If that's not for you, don't take it. But I feel like a... a I feel like a slight discouragement, like somebody feels like something isn't just going to work, like you kind of want to give up, you're frustrated here. Um, Spirit is saying don't give up. Don't allow your mind... Don't allow your situation, your present situation to keep you from trying to move forward or to give up because you're really closer to this new beginning, you know, this fine, this final uh, <laughs> shower of blessings or whatever you want to call it to come towards you. You ever seen that picture where they have the people digging with diamonds and the person on the front, he reached all these small diamonds and then the person... It's just like they want to give up because they just feel like they're not getting anywhere. But they're like right there. If they dug a little bit more, they'd have like this really big ass diamond versus six small ones. I feel like you guys could be looking at those around you and seeing them, you know, progressing or getting things in life or just, you know how it is when you get on social media and you see people getting married or you see people with new cars, you see people business taking off and things like that. And then you're just wondering, like, damn, I'm putting in a lot of work. Why isn't this happening for me? Like, I, I'm grinding hard as fuck and nothing's happening for me. 
So I feel like that's the energy that you could be in. And Spirit is saying, chill, because, you know, they got these little nuggets, but you got something very, very big coming in for you. You have a big reward. You just got to keep your head up and stay positive and not to give up here. We do have the Six of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys could be coming out of the feeling of uh, feeling lonely, isolated, or whatever and then i feel like half of you guys are moving into being isolated and giving more time to yourself and feeding and calling your energy back and feeding your energy back i guess is what you can say as well so if you guys could be doing some kind of cord cuttings or just releasing of people naturally of you know blocking them disconnecting from them realizing that you know this isn't serving me you could be pulling your energy away or not really focusing in on giving all of your energy to somebody because i feel here with this five of pentacles there's somebody here who wants a lot of your attention there's a big distraction here um i get like they when they call they expect you to run or expect you to be there libra i feel like that's about to come to an end as well because you overcompensating and over giving to this person is just bleeding you dry and leaving you like drained out okay um, I feel like a lot of you guys have been having dreams about this individual as well and to me spirit is saying that this is serving as a warning so you can see who this person is that's playing with your energy you do have the page of cuts with the five of swords here um I do feel like a lot of you guys it's time to cut ties so that she can have something new like I spoke of before. There's a lot of eyes on here, so I'm feeling like there's a lot of awareness and there's a lot of people looking at you, Libra, and I don't mean in a good way. Um, there's a lot of eyes on you, a lot of evil eyes. There's a lot of people waiting for your downfall and destruction. This could be people that are close to you. Um, this could be a past loved one or somebody who is a loved one, like a family member here. There's somebody here um, that's close to you. Um, I don't know what it is, but somebody is like consistently thinking about you. Somebody's trying to manifest you. Somebody wants you to only want to focus on them. Somebody is just like trying to break the foundations of any new relationships. Dang, there's somebody here who they're watching you. They're really, really watching you to see what you have going on, what your relationships are like, what it's going to be like. Somebody doesn't want to see you with another person here. Uh, I feel a lot of jealousy. This person was, doesn't like when you conversate with other people. They feel like they have competition here. Um, you could be coming into many pursuers as well, Libra. Uh, many people wanting to come at you, okay? Because we do have air and fire. So you could be, I'm sorry, air and, air and earth here with water. So air earth and water signs could be big pursuers of you scorpio pisces cancer taurus virgo capricorn another air sign another libra uh gemini aquarius here they seem to be heavy focal points within your reading here i feel like you have people that's drowning you out you have people who's like watching you the drowning out could be the water sign this person could be very very codependent wanting like they are like pouring all their energy onto you or they're draining all of your energy they want you to be the like they want to be the center of your attention they want you to just give all of your attention to them when it comes to the earth sign it's like they could be begging for your attention they're wanting to move forward with you they could be wanting a relationship with you as well um they're wanting to grow something somebody wants to take a trip with you as well somebody really wants to wants some kind of relationship to to progress here like they want some romantic type of relationship but i feel like you guys could be uninterested in them because you feel like their mind frame is just shit like um I don't know you just feel like their mind frame is shit here so it's just like you you're avoiding destruction here and with this other air sign i just feel there's not no good ending here at all it just seems very chaotic at play it's just very very chaotic here all right what else with libra All right, so you do have somebody who is tapping into your energy here. Somebody could be trying to fall into your dreams. Somebody could be sexualizing you on one part. Um, you could have people, if you're wondering like um, late at night why you start feeling certain things. You could be feeling like you're being watched or 
you know, you can feel like something's touching your body. Somebody is doing some kind of sex magic, sex plays with you. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they're, they're like watching you inside your home. They're watching what you're doing from wherever they are at here. Somebody is lying about doing magic on you, some kind of love spells or some kind of hexing spells here. Yeah, somebody is lying about that, Libra. There's some idea that is not to be trusted, that is close in your circle. Okay. I just keep hearing envious. Somebody is very envious. Yeah, somebody's doing a love spell. Somebody's doing a love spell. Okay. Somebody somebody wants you to focus just, just on them. But time is gonna tell who this individual is. Like I said, you have three strong elemental pursuers here. Libra, I do feel like you really need to protect yourself. I do feel like you need to <sighs> guard your heart when it comes to certain things. I feel like you guys could be just too, too soft at times. But protect your energy, protect yourself. Do some protection work. Get your protection amulet, whatever you may need, talisman. Um, clean out the home. Clean out the energy. Stop allowing people access into your home. Stop eating everybody's food, Libra. And stop just being so fucking nice when you know that there's nothing to come of a situation because you keep drawing yourself back into this, situ this type of situation, okay? All right, Libra, that's what I have for you today. I hope you liked your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.